Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. We are going to start the botany second year class. <clears throat> okay. So, first of all, we will see the weightage in this chapter and which chapter LAQs and the SAQs, VSAQs. We have to go through the supply exams, advanced supply exams. Okay. So, here there is no improvement, only the yeah, supply exams only. So, here, first of all, what we have to one second. So, which chapters we have to prepare to get the eight marks questions? Eight out of eight. So, here three LAQs they will give now. What that much we know, everyone. So, here only two LAQs so we have to write. That means two chapters if you prepare well. For the LAQs, that is the eight marks ones, it will be the best one for going for the supply exams. So, how, what are the chapters? What we have to prepare? That also only for the along with the Telugu Academy index. I am saying the chapter numbers and the chapter names. So, the first LAQ, what we have to prepare very easily is the thirteenth and the fourteenth chapter LAQs. Okay. So, in this, total three LAQs are there for us. In these three LAQs, if you prepare well, then one LAQ damn sure in the final IP exam. So, here, what we have to prepare and what are the three questions, what we have to go with this class now. So, first of all, we will start with the eight marks questions. Okay, that means... Two chapters are there. What we have to go with each easily, we can score. Okay. So, for each and every student, I cannot say. Altogether, I am saying that two chapters, that is the 13th and the 14th chapter, that is for one LAQ. And the second LAQ, what we have to prepare is the 11th chapter, that is the process, that is the principles of the biotechnology. If we are going with these three chapters, that is a five LAQs perfectly, then we can easily get two LAQs. We can write two LAQs. If not, one end of LAQ also you can write very easily. That much easily we can score. That means eight plus four or five marks. Take it as four. Twelve marks we can get very easily. After that, if you prepare with the SAQs and the VSAQs together of the next 15 marks, then 50% marks we will be getting in the botany second year examinations. So that much easy is the botany second year paper. But logically, if you prepare well, then damn sure we will get pass marks. There is nothing is there to stop us with this topic, with this subject itself. So first of all, what we are preparing is the LAQ of the 13th chapter, that is Strategies for Enhancement of Food Production. That is the chapter name. In that, the first question is, that is the plant breeding. This is the LAQ question. So the question will be, if you are a botanist working in your garden, to breed the plants according to your interest. What are the steps you will follow? But the answer we have to write in a systematic manner here. What is meant by plant breeding? And the steps, what we have to do only, we have to write nothing else. Okay. So what is meant by plant breeding? When we are growing the plant according to the old pattern of the plant breeding uh, that, that means when we are availing the old strategies for making the new plants otherwise to improve the quality quantity otherwise the quality of the seeds is called as the plant breeding process and in this plant breeding it will be following different steps the very first step is collection of variabilities Collection of variabilities. Mm -hmm. 
so what is meant by variability what is meant by collection if you know this side heading name otherwise the how to say this easy to write the answer collection variabilities means different types different varieties we need to collect so and collection means we are gathering at one place that is the collection of variabilities with this if you expand that is the that one step answer that's the much easy is this answer okay so collection of variabilities in this we have to select the wild varieties which are having the good qualities in them that is the height of the plant will be good enough and having the good resistance capacity and the seed quality should be good and the quantity of the seed production should be good and the next one the stress uh, the stress release that means the stress resistant varieties that means when the soil water is less in the atmosphere otherwise in that specific area then also if the plant is growing successfully that is the stress resistant variety like that varieties of the plants we will collect here from different different areas so whenever the one good quality is there we have to collect that plant that type of plant and we have to keep it one specific place that is in the lab itself that is called as the collection of variabilities collecting the same kind of the plants of different varieties growing in different areas with having which are having somewhat good qualities otherwise the wild characters in them are going to be collected and kept in the lab that is called as the collection of variabilities in this collection of variabilities when we are growing we are collecting in a different different areas sometimes the some sort of the genes will be somewhat different from the original genotype so what we have to say here is the that type of plants when we have collected of the different different qualities and in the same variety of the plants that is called as the germ plasm collection germ plasm collection that means here we are selecting the plants from the different different varieties we are collecting in that the same genes won't be there having the different qualities different genes will be there so whenever the genes one gene is different from the original genotype to express the characters in a good manner that is the that collection of the varieties we are calling them as the germ plasm collection and this is the first step what we have to write in the plant breeding process now comes with the second step selection of parents from the varieties second step is selection of parents you can write this much also selection of parents what is meant by selection of parents from the germ plasm collection that means when we have collected a different varieties from different areas in that we have to select the parents from them only and now in this one once we are selecting the parents the parents should have our desired characters in them what is meant by desired characters what we want to see in a plant those characters what we have to see and grow them again and again those are called as the desired characters so the parents should have the desired characters the plants which are having the desired characters of us has to be collected and selected as the parents from the germ plasm collection that is the second step so in this selection of parents the parents may be two or more than two plants two or more than two plants so what we will select for the parents so why we are doing like this because all the good qualities may not be present in one single plant that is the desired characters the all the desired characters may not be present in one single plant 
so here we are taking two, more than two plants also as a parents so that all the uh, by crossing all these parents we will get one single plant with all our desired characters in it what we want to have in the outside environment to get the benefits from the plants itself all this process is meant for our beneficiary we want many things from one single plant so for that process we are doing all these hectic works to get have, have a good life from one single plant otherwise from less number of plants itself so that is the selection of parents the selection of parents may be two or more than two plants can be considered as a parents which are having the desired qualities in them that is the second step now we will go to the third step what is the third step in this hybridization hybridization so in this step what we will do so here once we have collected the germ plasm and after that we have selected the parents from the collections now we will do the hybridization this process is the artificial hybridization what we have to do so once the parents are selected as two consider as two parents male and the female so but the plants what we have selected are the bisexual plants usually all the plants are the bisexual so in the bisexual nature of the plants how can we say one plant is the male plant that is the male parent and another one is the female parent so here we have to make one parent completely as the female parent and the another parent as usual considered as the male parent so for doing that process we have to do the emasculation so what is meant by emasculation removal of stamens from the bisexual plant removal of stamens from the bisexual flower in the bud condition itself to make the plant flower as the female flower completely is called as the emasculation so in this step how to do the emasculation if the flower is a very big flower then we can easily remove the stamens from the sterilized with the sterilized forceps okay if not if the inflorescence is a, when the flowers are very tiny having the inflorescence just like the rice inflorescence otherwise the wheat then very tiny flowers we cannot say that is a flower also in that how to do the emasculation then the inflorescence is dipped completely in the hot water for 10 to 15 minutes in the early morning itself that means in the bud condition of the inflorescence it needs to be dipped in the hot boiling water for 10 to 15 minutes so that all the stamens will wither off all the stamens will wither off wither off means they are removed completely fall off from the inflorescence from the flower itself that is the emasculation process okay after that what we have to do we have to go with the next step in this there is a bagging that is a protecting the flower inflorescence okay so after the emasculation so first of all what we have to write in the hybridization process the parents which are selected as the two parents for the hybridization process in that one parent we have to call it as the female parent that inflorescence should be gone with the emasculation process okay that means we have to write in the brackets if the flower is a very big flower solid big flower then removal of stamens should be done with the sterilized forceps if the inflorescence flowers are tiny just like the inflorescence then we have to dip the inflorescence in the hot boiling water to make the flower completely as a female flower that is the at that time stamens will wither off from the flower okay after that what we have to do we have to 
protect this style and the stigmatic lobes with a sterilized polythene bag that is called as the bagging process otherwise bagging technique okay after the emasculation the flower or the inflorescence has to be covered with the sterilized polythene sheet called as the bagging and after this after this putting this sterilized cover again at the bottom we have to tie up with the thread and labeling should be given for the female parent and when we have done the emasculation process also need to be mentioned on the labeling part that is on the tag then after that <clears throat> we have to go with the next step in the hybridization process only that is nothing but the artificial hybridization that is the pollen grains has to be sprinkled on the stigmatic lobes so that is the artificial pollination so for that what we have to do we have to collect the pollen grains collect the pollen grains from the male parent the another parent is considered as a male parent so from that male parent with the sterilized brush we need to collect the pollen grains and we have to sprinkle this pollen grains on the flower on the emasculated female flower itself so how to do this now we have to open the not open the polythene sheet and put the brush and sprinkle the pollen grains on the emasculated female flower and after that again we have to cover the flower with the same polythene sheet and tie it off that is this process is called as the rebagging technique rebagging technique okay after that from the again in the labeling part we have to write the mention the male parent name and when we have done the artificial pollination that again we have to mention so that the uh, uh, if we leave the polythene bag this bag like that undisturbed for 15 days then the pollination and the fertilization occurs in the flower then we can remove the polythene bag now the flower is ready to prepare the seeds from its okay so that is the hybridization process so in the hybridization process three main side headings otherwise the words are important to occur whenever we are writing we need to underline those words also the first one is the emasculation emasculation bagging and rebagging so these three words need to be written and underlined whenever we are writing the hybridization process so that the person who is correcting our answer will be knowing that yes we mentioned this process yes we mentioned this we mentioned this then it's easy for them to correct and we will get full score that means 8 out of 8 is the easiest chance of getting the marks from this theoretical answer where there are no diagrams only theory how to get full marks in this if the words specific words are there that is the key words what will say these key words should occur in the hybridization step and that also underlined with the same pen or other pen but not the red colored pen red orange green should not be used other than this any other color otherwise with the same pen if you underline is also sufficient no need of any such decorations also this is the third step that is a hybridization process now comes with the fourth step what will do in the fourth step so after the hybridization what we have to do we have to 
select otherwise we have to grow them in the normal environment and we have to collect the seeds from the plants where we have done the hybridization so that is the collection of collection and selection of selection of hybrid variety i am saying in the easiest manner for you the side heading so that easily you can remember the statement that is the side heading if the side heading you remember you can just elaborate the topic on your own also you can elaborate now after the hybridization what we are doing we are growing the same plant and we are collecting the seeds from the plants and that also from which plants we have to collect which are growing in a, a normal way very fast that is the collection and selection so it's a very easy topic to expand and to write the three or four points in this side heading part itself so here we are collecting the seeds from the suitable plants which are growing very fast and the quality of the seeds should be very nice that is the and here we have to follow the pure line selection <laughs> remember this word again pure line selection again we have to underline this word what is meant by pure line when we are collecting the plant seeds from in a systematic order in a line wise number wise that is called as the pure line selection okay so once we have collected the seeds from the suitable plants which are growing fast enough in the soil molecules are called as the pure line selection and those seeds should be collected and kept for the further growth okay that is the in this step again like that we have to see like this plants for two six to seven generations so that the all the desired qualities should be present in the plant body itself what we are expecting for this through this hybridization process in the plant body and the fifth step is testing and releasing the variety in the outside market fifth step is testing and releasing the variety that is the fifth step what is the meaning of this step in general also we can say and we can say according to this plant breeding process also once we have grown the variety of the hybrid hybrid plants for 6 to 7 generations till we till what time we have to grow them till the desired qualities were occurred in the plant body we have to grow and we have to take out the seeds and for that much that we are testing that means we are again regrowing and we are testing we are confirming by testing that all the good qualities are there in the plant body like that plants we are collecting and we are releasing into the outside atmosphere this variety of the plants that is the now the farmers otherwise the cultivars now can take out these seeds and grow the variety in the outside outside world so that we will get the all the citizens otherwise all the human beings can get the benefits through those plants that is the aim of the plant breeding okay so like this we have to write the answer for this lq so again now i am briefing all together so the what is meant by plant breeding when when the plants were grown for a to get the all the desired qualities in one single plant 
to get the to, to supply the needs of the human beings is called as the plant breeding process so in this this plant breeding process consists of five different steps steps the first one is collection of variabilities collection of variabilities in this we will collect the different plants of different varieties having the good good qualities and we are growing them in the and collecting and placing in the one specific lab along with their name and the good qualities that is called as the germplasm collection that is the collection of variabilities and the second step is selection of parents selection of parents so from the germplasm collection we have to select the parents which are suitable for our hybridization process which are having the our all desired characters in them so here the parents may be two or more than two like that we have to select the parents and we have to start the next step in the plant breeding process and the third one is the hybridization so in this hybridization process we will do the artificial hybridization by making the one of the parent as the completely female parent by making by going with the emasculation process in the different varieties for the single solid flower emasculation can be done by removal of the stamens with the sterilized forceps okay and in the second variety is the dipping the complete inflorescence in the hot water for 10 to 15 minutes so that the stamens will be there off so that is the another type of emasculation process the after that we have to cover the emasculated flower which is considered as a female parent with the sterilized polythene bag called as the bagging technique then we have to collect the pollen grains from the second parent considered as the male parent with the sterilized brush and sprinkle the pollen grains on this emasculated female stamen stigmatic loops that is after that again if you cover the flower with the polythene sheet is called as the rebagging technique emasculation bagging rebagging should be done in the hybridization process like that we have to leave the flower for 10 to 15 days so that the pollination fertilization process can be done next process is the collection of collection and the selection of the suitable varieties okay so that so that the after the fertilization once the seeds were formed in the plant body that has to be collected from different plants and that has to be grown for several generations till what the all the desired characters are occurred from the same plant like that till that time we have to growing the seeds only that is it will take nearly 6 to 7 generations to have to see all the good qualities that is all the desired qualities in one single plant so that is the so fourth step and the last one is the testing and releasing the varieties in for the cultivars that is after this we have to test again the seed seed quality that is seeds are having all the good qualities and the plants are growing on time and having the good height and good resistance capacity and the yield will be double or triple or four times we need to check it out and we have to give this release this seeds to the cultivars cultivars means to the farmers so that the farmers can grow in different in different localities in the country so that our needs can be satisfied by this plant variety that is the completely plant breeding process five steps on your own also you can write so that we can get in this eight out of eight is very easy to get but we have to use the specific words and the english should not have the grammar mistakes over here and here in the second year we will see the grammar and how you are making the sentence in a proper manner that means the second year student means we will do you have to maintain the standard of answering technique that has to be followed in giving the answers in the theoretical questions and especially in my subject 
we will check out all these things how you are answering in the hybridization process if you answer the rebagging first otherwise you didn't mention the emasculation word half mark will be deducted if you cry also no one will add up that mark and if you are losing half mark it may lead to the two marks cut from the complete answer itself because once you did a mistake means you definitely do the mistake in the next step so obviously we will keen in observing the next further steps what you have written so be careful in writing the answer in this uh, in this lecture that also in the theoretical questions make sure that no spelling mistakes no strikings in between the answers these are the rules that has to be followed in writing this answer especially okay so we will see the next lq in the next class that is tomorrow same time same okay same place we will rejoin again to go with the second lq till that be prepared with this again i will ask the questions if you are having any queries that means any doubts you can put in the comment box so that we will see and we will resolve your all the queries and all the doubts in the next class that is tomorrow's class right till that be tuned to our channel. Thank you.